Get the deal. Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin aka Husky Mudkips here, and welcome back to another episode of our Minecraft Digimobs adventure. I just have one thing to tell you guys. I can't do it anymore with all these chests. They're so annoying. The chests. They're just obnoxious. We have them all over the place. We even have some outside, and it's like, come on chests, what the heck are you doing? Get organized. Well, I've decided that we are going to complete that task. What we are going to do today is something I kind of mentioned uh, in a previous episode, in a way. So, if you guys remember, when the when we were looking for the the item for the metal memer, uh, one place we were looking, uh, we were looking for a mesa biome, and one thing we ended up finding in a mesa biome was a pretty cool area. It was right here, kind of like a little. There's a river here, and there's mountains all around us. Let's see, let's make that automatically load up there um, it's kind of like in the middle of everything it's so beautiful it's surrounded by these oh it's just great i love it and i've decided i want to do something with this and i thought hey why don't we make that something that we do making an area for us to place down some chests so i got to thinking and with the shape of this i thought why not make some sort of cool tower here and I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So I need to do a few things. I need to make a shovel to get rid of this red sand. We're going to have to gather materials. And I would like to make this thing uh, with some wood and whatnot. So we're going to have to get ourselves an axe. We'll probably make it out of alumite or something like that. Um, we're also going to need uh, to build. So we're going to have to do that stuff. But uh, I thought let's get started on it. Why not? Let's do it. So I'm just going to teleport back home because we are going to have to make some new tools. Uh, and we are... I, can we make a multi-tool? I think we can make one that like... Let me see. I'm going to look at the type of tools we have here. We have the tool station, uh, which means we can make a mattock, which is uh, wood, dirt, and plants. So this isn't really what we want to make. Uh, we could make, you know, just a standard hatchet. We can make a standard shovel. But um, there's there's the... One, what's that thing called? Um... It's not the tool station, it's something else here. Tool forge, this is what we need to make. So we're gonna need four blocks of iron, three sets of seared bricks, and a tool station. Uh, and this will allow us to actually unlock some different building abilities. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, but I think we should have everything we need here. So let me see, we got a bunch of iron. Definitely not too stack. Oh geez, we're probably gonna need to go and get some more iron. Uh, let me see what else we got. We need that that uh, We need the bricks that we have here perfect so we can make this super easy. Oh, not that make it here Boom, we got the bricks necessary might as well just put it down here what we're making. It's three across the top uh, We are going to need Some more iron though cuz I don't think we have that much we have enough for three stacks which is something, but it's not the four stacks we need. Or rather four, sorry, four blocks. We gotta have some more iron somewhere around here. Aha, I knew it. <laughs> I was like, we gotta have some. What the heck, Quentin? What's going on here? There we go. Hey, look, we already have three. We can get to making this thing. We just have to knock this down right here. <laughs> and this will allow us. Oh, I completely, I almost forgot about the, uh, the manilinen and the alumite that we had in there. But here we can craft it right here. We go like this, a boop, ba doop, and then we go. Where's the tool station that we just picked up? Did it fall down here, or is it up there? It's up there still. It's stuck. <laughs> we gotta help it, guys. It's stuck. Can we hop up like this? Let me see. I wanna try something. <laughs> we hopped all the way up, and my phone's vibrating. Oh no! Uh, but here we go. We put. Wait, what? It's not. Oh, it's in this one. Put this right here. Perfect, we got ourselves a tool forge, and this will actually allow us, which is pretty cool, it'll allow us to uh, build some different types of weapons, such as, well, that's a matic. what am I looking for? Scythe, this is for plants and stuff, but an excavator, which lets us dig more stuff. Um, we're probably still just going to stick with making ourselves, like, ooh, a battle axe, that's kind of cool. Oh, it's capable of bringing down small trees. Oh, one by nine. We should get this. We should make one of these. We just need two hammerhead parts and a large binding, I think that is, and a tool rod. That's pretty neat. Let me see. What do we have in the pattern chest? We have, uh, we don't have any of like the, the ones we need. So let me see. We should have patterns somewhere around here. We got some. So we need, we're going to, oh, we got to go over to the stencil table. <laughs> Put this down real quick. Now we need one of these tough binding pattern 
and we need one of these. There we go. Broadhead, broadhead axe pattern. And that'll allow us. Those are the the, the two things we need. Uh, is that like a large tool rod or something? What's that? No, it's just a regular... Oh, it is some sort of different tool rod. I guess we're going to have to make some more patterns. We have plenty of wood, though, so that's no big deal. Let's just take out, like, that much. I'm just getting annoyed with having our stuff so unorganized. And that's something we're going to fix. Oh, I forgot about this. We actually need to make sticks for this to work. <laughs> I almost forgot, guys. Almost forgot. There we go. Got ourselves a whole bunch of patterns. <laughs> Definitely more than we need. Uh, we got to come over here. Got to make one of those thingamabobs, whatever the heck this is called. Tough rod! There we go. So now that we can put them in the part, parts builder, and get rid of these real quick, uh, we can make these out of cobblestone. You guys know the whole process, so I don't think I'm going to worry about showing you too much of this. Uh, I want to see what type of material can we make it out of. I think we should have some stuff in here. Oh, we may have to make ourselves some more manual lining and stuff. Alumite, we only have six nuggets of alumite? What do we need for that? We need... Ooh, ooh, looks like we're going to need ourselves some more aluminum. We have some downstairs. I'm kind of doing things all over the place. Uh, you know you know this process, guys. I don't want to like focus on us just making the tools or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead. Hey, aluminum gravel ore. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some of this stuff off camera. Hope you guys are all right with that. I don't want to bore you too much, you know. So uh, I'm going to do this real quick. But uh, I'll see you guys in just a second once we have ourselves uh, the things appropriate to make what we need to make. I don't even know if I'm speaking English anymore. Blah. We may need some more gold, but it looks like we should. Oh, we're out of. We have no. Oh, never mind. We have lava right there. I was like, where's our lava? Because I normally put this thing right over here. Uh, but we, we don't have much gold, but we still have to make these casts. So there we go. Making a little bit of debt. Wait a second. How much alumite do we have now? Ah, we have more alumite. Nice, we got nine ingots worth. Oh, there we go. We can take that out now uh, and place this down. Oh, I meant to click here. Perfect. Ooh, these things require a lot. 288. That's a fair bit right there. I uh, got ourselves one of those now. Wait a second. Okay, I did pick it up. I was a little bit worried. Um, we're actually going to put... Ah, shoot. See, this is the pain of having way too much stuff. We don't need the stone stuff anymore, so we got to put that away. <laughs> oh, we can just put it in here, like the stuff that we don't want, like that. Eh, get out of here. Get out of here. But now, we put down like this, and we go, I want to make this out of alumite. And then we say, okay, that's great. Uh, then we put it down. Boom. Fill her up. We're going to do the same thing with this, as soon as it's complete. There we go. Place that. Fill that up. Uh, we're going to have to do two of these broadhead. They require eight? Eight material? What? What does that even mean? That's a lot of stuff, man. How are we going to do this? <laughs> okay, are we going to be able to afford this? Will this actually work? I don't know. How much alumite? We got 432 millibuckets. We do not have enough. We're going to have to definitely do something there. Um... So I'm going to do that real quick. We need to make ourselves some more alumite. I got two ingots, but like, I don't want to, erg. how do I explain it? How much mana line do we have? It's so hard to see. Okay. We got 280. Yeah, we do not have enough. So let's get ourselves some more aluminum, obsidian, and iron. Or actually just aluminum and obsidian. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get those things and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right. It took me a while, but I placed some more aluminum in there. And now we have our second alumite broad axe head. It just took way too long to make that because each one of these, I think it takes like 1100 millibuckets, which is a bucket and some of that flipping stuff. The, the alumite, which takes forever to get, it takes an unbelievable amount of time to get. But now we have this battle axe. We're going to be happy because now we can go chop down some trees. I completely forgot that I wanted to make a shovel as well. Uh, I don't want to make an ex excavator though because those things are kind of annoying to deal with. With the whole, oh, I got to do this and that. And blah, 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 blah. I got to like make sure I'm excavating the right area. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that kind of stuff. Um, whoa, wait a second. I should have made this thing. It looks a lot cooler. Uh, but we do need to make ourselves a shovel. So we'll do that super quick. We should have, we don't have a single shovel pattern. All right, we got to do that. I'll see you guys once I have a shovel. We've done it. We created a shovel. I think you guys all know how shovels are made. Uh, but uh, let's throw some stuff in here. 
because we are just gonna go and we're gonna start gathering some materials yo I don't even oh I need the food though uh, but I don't, <laughs> I don't even care about bringing any digimobs on though of course I will because might as well you know it'd be dangerous to go alone without digimobs uh, but we're more focusing on the fact that we're gonna go and grab ourselves a whole bunch of materials and uh, clear out some of that uh, that nasty sand now before we go and start gathering materials, I want to tell you what type of materials I want to get. So one of the materials I want to get is going to be found in that uh, other side of Mesa area. Uh, if you guys remember, over here, aha, this way, there's one of those really cool biomes. I can't remember what it's called. I'm just going to force load the chunks there. Perfect. Uh, we're heading over here because I, didn't, I don't even think I brought a Digimon. Oh, I did. I brought Phoenix Mon and Gururumon. Cool. Wait, wasn't I going to do something with Gururumon? Did I completely forget to do that? I think I did. Next episode, friends. Uh, but over here, there's this type of wood. Acacia. Or is that is it acacia? Yeah, it is. And I love this stuff. So uh, let's just grab it. Yeah, cool. Boom. Dope. <laughs> but yeah, I figured we could grab a whole bunch of this because I love the way it's colored. It's just great. Hey, there we go. We got some wood. Cool. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Just getting a lot more wood. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, now we're going to just keep on grabbing some more. Um, and this is the type of wood I would like to work with when it comes to our weird tower thing that we're going to build. I actually have no idea how the heck I'm going to do this thing. I might actually have to build it layer by layer. I don't know. Ah! So I might have to actually build it layer by layer. I'm a little bit unsure on exactly how I'm going to do it. But uh, I'm going to go gather some more of this stuff. And I'll see you guys once I have a whole butt ton. Alrighty, friend Arenos, I've cleared out the area as you can see. Got a lot of work done with our shovel here, <laughs> and some done with our pickaxe because we'd have to clear out some orange stained clay. However, uh, let's uh, kind of get started on something. So, I think what I would like to do. Oh, yeah, first, I also want to take a look at this. What the. It looks like that. Okay. I just wanted to see what color it was. Maybe we won't use that for like the base level, but um, what I wanted to do was maybe lay out how we want our first level to look for this thing. And I was thinking something like, um, let me see if we have like, I'm going to figure out like space stuff and how I'm going to do it is by using this, by using some, uh, <laughs> some, some uh, sand to lay it out first. I think that's going to be a good idea. Um, if we go like, let me see, I want to try something. Okay. So we got that. Then we go, what if we were to do that again, but like right here. And then I'm going to like kind of figure this out a little bit because what I want to do is make it look nice. You know, I want it to look nice. Uh, we have that maybe go into or something. That could be an idea. Yeah, there we go. Go into and then come out to or was that be too? Yeah, that'd be way too narrow. We're going to have to go four and then go back into, I guess. I'm trying to figure, would that look nice? I don't even know if we're going to have the space for it, but I think that will look nice. This side will look a little bit interesting with how it's laid out currently. Uh, but I think we're going to be able to make this work. Was it one, two, three, four? Oh, I need more. I need more sand. <laughs> how funny is that, huh? And there we go. So this is like a side right here. Let me go into... Um, is there a way to find my bird mode? <laughs> we got to get into not bird mode, but instead into bat mode. This will be great for building. Look at that. Now we can kind of see. Oh, oops. Okay. That's how it looks. Cool. And then we just, I, I want to finish laying out how this looks and we'll see how you guys like it. So I'll see you in just a second. All right. What do you guys think about this? I think I like the way it looks. It's a nice round shape. Uh, it's going to require a lot of materials, but I still think it looks pretty nice. Uh, what we do for an entrance is we just would punch out like two blocks like right here. And then we put double doors down. And then what I was thinking is we put chests like right here. And then we put them in all the double spots. So there, there. Oh, we can't put them there uh, for obvious reasons. But we can... Hmm, how can I do that then? Oh, shoot. Yeah, that doesn't actually make any sense, does it? Having it be two... Oh no, do I have to make it three? Do I have to make like the middle bit three? Like move everything over and everything out one more? <laughs> I mean, that might make it a little bit easier to work with for chests. Yeah, hmm. You know what? 
I think we're going to try that. I'm going to see how that looks. Because this does look a little bit... Maybe I'm not the biggest fan. So I'm going to try that out, guys. One second. Hey, there we go. We've now fixed it. We've made it one longer on each side. I actually like the way that looks now. So what I'm thinking, though, is we go in through here. And then along this side, we have chests. You know, right here, we have chests. Don't have anything in the middle, because who cares? But then chest chest space chest and we can like stack them on top of each other chest etc uh i don't know if we'd have them near the doorway but having like this layout will allow us to really um use a lot of space down here and then maybe in the upper area we can include some other cool stuff i feel like we could just keep adding on layers to this thing and it looks really nice i like the i like the little design we've come up with now we just have to figure out what goes good with what <laughs> uh we could go and get ourselves a butt ton of white stained clay or like uh actually you know what i think that would look nice Ex wait a second i got an idea we're gonna go somewhere around here that I don't know, I don't really care about too much, you know, I don't really care about exploring, etc. Uh, or don't care about it looking too, too nice. And what we're going to do once we're there is we're just going to clean up all this white clay <laughs> using our majestical pick of power. <laughs> so we're just going to do this, we're just going to go, boom. That's right, give me all your white clay, I don't care. <laughs> we're just getting stacks, baby! Stacks! Stack them up! What up? Yep, we're almost full. <laughs> now this, along with what I want to be birch, because I think birch will look really cool. Birch, this, and uh, the acacia trees. I think that'll look really, really nice for some sort of design, because it's kind of like uh, complementary-ish. Like, it's all kind of melding together, you know? Um, I don't... I want to... For the base level, though, I think I want to go with the white clay, because I feel like it's dark enough... Uh, while also being light enough to really fit the whole idea. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get started on that. Uh, I kind of want to do it like one at a time because I don't want to, you know, misplace too many blocks. <laughs> but uh, I am gonna get started. I'm gonna make sure that I place out this entire bottom area just how I'm replacing all those things. And I'll see you guys in just one second. Gosh darn it, a stupid creeper came up to me and destroyed my wall and also murdered me. That doesn't bother me as much. But the wall! A flurgen herg. Blurgen! A flurg! This actually is really annoying because now I have to replace all of these blocks. It's a good thing I have spares. Erg! That's just such a pain in the tush! Uh, my voice went really high there. But it is a pain in the tush, you know? It's it's quite obnoxious having to replace all these blocks. Erg. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was kind of funny. The fact that I got murderized. <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll see you guys in a second <laughs> once I'm done with this. Okay, so we're back. We've got this completed. Now, uh, what I would like to do, one thing I would like to do is... I'm unsure whether I want to use Acacia the dark spruce wood or maybe even maybe not birch uh for birch i think i'm definitely going to break it down to planks but one of these two for the next layer uh i think i want to do that because it would look really nice so i'm going to do each side in each color just to get an idea of how it will look uh in the eventuality that we do decide to go with one of those figure this is the best way to get it we can you know judge based on how it looks from the outside etc uh, there we go. Now we'll do the other side and spruce wood. I have a feeling that the spruce is going to look a little bit better because it's like a contrast between colors. Uh, but you know what? I'm willing to try anything. So we'll just see what happens here. We'll take a look from the outside to see which one we like a little bit more. Oops, that was a mess up. <laughs> let's break that real quick. Perfect. So let's take a look. Hmm. Which do I like more? I kind of am feeling the spruce a little bit. I think I'm feeling the spruce. Because, like, it's nice and dark. And it really works with this. Plus the red sand below us, you know. I'm thinking we're going to go with the spruce. I figure that's probably the best idea. And <laughs> I could just use Veinwinder to get all this silly stuff real quick. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go with the spruce. Uh, we're going to be going a, a few levels at least. You know, not just... Not just one level, so, uh, or not just two levels, rather. Um, and by two levels, I mean, like, you know, two blocks high. Uh, so we're going to need some more for the next level. Oh, shoot. Uh, but I think for the next level, we'll go with something maybe... Actually, you know what? That might be when we use the acacia. And we can make, like, a nice little sandwich 
I think that would look all right. Or how about, let's try again, let's do the same thing. We're gonna try one and the other. So uh, let me see, we're gonna start from here with this one, see how this looks. And then we'll take a look at how the acacia looks. I don't really know which one's gonna look better. We don't need to do it all, of course. That one, eh, I'm not, I'm not too big of a fan of it so far. But this kind of has an interesting, like, continuance to it, you know? Because it's like one log to another. It's kind of interesting. Huh. Viewing it from the inside right now. Yeah, I, I'm a big I'm a big fan of the acacia. We're going to stick with the acacia then. So we'll, we'll complete this. We'll do the acacia all the way around. Uh, really right now what we're working on is just making sure we can get our butts um, the entire, like, first layer, like, set up. Uh, I know this, I mean, you know, Digimobs for me, it's more about adventure than anything, but I know this isn't exactly Digimobs related, you know? But I, I still think it's important because it's a part of our series, so look, we got that so far. Huh. Now, if we were to walk in here, we see our chest stacked up. We probably want another layer. And for that last layer, could we go for the birchwood then? Let's see, how will that look? Hmm... You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go for the birch wood. That way we can use it <laughs> because otherwise I'm going to feel kind of silly if I just don't use it at all. Um, I think another thing I want to note, I don't think I want to put any, uh, any windows on this lower layer. And you might be asking yourself, why Quentin? That seems kind of silly. Well, the reason I don't want to put anything on this window or this bottom layer, any windows on this bottom layer, it's because first off, it's going to be a chest room. we got to be super secret. And second off, why not do that on higher levels? That way they can look nicer. We can see a bigger view of area everywhere around here. I actually really like that. It looks weird, but interesting. You know, it looks a little bit different. Um, but I figured this should be high enough. For the next level, of course, we would want something kind of neutral in the middle. Maybe white stained clay or something like that. Uh, or not white stain, let's go with like red stained clay, or orange stained clay rather. Um, and this will be the, the floor level, that's what this will be. So all of this will simply allow us to uh, like have like a, a middle level for us to work with. Uh, with the next level up, we can do whatever the heck we want with it, but I figure this will be how we cover it up and kind of block it off, if that makes I'm I'm not really explaining things properly, but essentially, this level right here, this will be like the roof. You see how this works? Like, so like we have four blocks above us of space, but this is the roof right here on the fourth or the fifth level. I figure that'll be decent, uh, decently high. Plus it'll also just, uh, it'll look nice. Do we not have that much clay? We don't have much, that much clay, do we? We're gonna need a lot more. Uh, but I figured this, this should be all right. And it gives us a nice kind of interesting color to end off with, you know? Yeah, I like that. I like the way this looks. So then we'll just have to fill in this area, come inside here with some uh, some chests and whatnot, lay them out, and I think we pretty much have got the base of our tower started. Now, I'll probably do most of the, the tower work off camera, just because it'd be easier to do. I don't want to bore you guys with too many videos of me building or anything like that. But I do hope that you guys have appreciated this episode, where I've shown you how I go about my building process. Uh, it's pretty basic. I know I'm not a great builder or anything, but I'm working with what I got. And uh, it looks like we're going to be building a pretty cool tower. And if we build it right, it could go pretty high. So uh, hope you all are very excited for that. Other than that, though, I'm going to be ending the episode right here. Hope you all have enjoyed. Uh, I just want to say thank you much for watching. I love you all. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave some love in the video. Hit that little like button for me with your little kipper flipper. Uh, other than that, though, see you later. Da -da -do.